babies. But I think we're gonna rearrange the barn, if not today, tomorrow. And this section where she's at is going to be for all the moms that still have lambs on them. And then over in this section is where all these guys are gonna go. They're gonna go back over here. And that'll just give these guys more room, the lambs more room, the moms some room. We're taking 18 more moms out today, I think. So that'll only leave us with 40. And then we can give, we'll have more room for lambs. I got another feeder built today, so. Now we've got four, no, three. And probably need a fourth one. It's a good thing my husband loves me. I made a project for him. So we have a buddy that has a lawn care business and he tore up all this, he tore up a lawn today and delivered all the sod to us. So it's used, but uh, now I can replace my lawn that the pigs dug up several years ago and it's basically all weeds and dirt patches and this is my next project i got a stand so that i can put all of my plants on and all of these on and all of these on plus everything I still have to start. Okay, there it is. It is uh, quite a bit bigger than I was expecting, but it's good because it's what I need. So I only have two shelves full right now because I still have this one that I have a couple things on. So I have plenty of room now. So we got this girl that's got a big old goiter on her leg, so we gotta go ahead and pop that. I'm guessing it's just pin grass or a thistle from the hay, but it's not something we just really want to leave there. So once we get everybody fed, we'll go ahead and grab her and pop it. girl. She's definitely a puppy though. She's a lot more playful than she is guardian. guardian. It's uh it's pretty big and it's squishy. It's definitely pus filled and it's going to squirt. So he went to look for a scalpel and uh, we're just going to hang out. Okay. Big abscess. Big abscess. Boy. It's going to squirt and I'm going to get. I've never done this mm -hmm. yet that didn't make a mess. Mm hmm. This is got Okay, lean forward. Okay. Dog's out. Get! Get! Oh, got your leg. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oh, sweet girl, I am so sorry. Ugh. And you're wearing it. Not a lot. No, but enough. Oh. Easy, sis. And that's probably all of it. Hold on. I, I wouldn't put sure. that in your mouth anytime soon. <laughs> I know I wasn't planning on it. Okay. I don't suppose you'd want to clean me off too since you're cleaning her off. It's pretty disgusting. It's pretty thick. Which oh, is good. Easy sis, easy sis. Shouldn't even hurt you. I was touching mom, not you. Okay. Okay. I think we... I think we're... Oh yeah, it, it really came down quite a bit. 
I know. It'll be better in the morning. Okay. Nope, I think we're good, sister. <laughs> and if we need it, we will penicillin her. We will in the morning. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Because her back end is so bloody. Oh, He's okay. been nurse, trying to, trying to nurse. Ooh. She had a heck of a time with it. Boy, I you. think she is a first timer, so we totally missed her. Okay, let's go see if we can do this. Oh boy. Yeah, this isn't going to be. This won't be fun. Let's let the rest of them settle for a minute. Okay. In hopes that they don't just scatter. Okay. Nerved up. Yeah, well. But she'd had two, and one of them was stillborn or died just after it was born. Oh, it's the horned one. Oh, it is? Yeah. Wow. Okay, I checked her every time she came in because she was. Mm hmm so much older than the others. So she came from Josh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So we're still trying to get the baby and lamb out of this other group and in the slough we just spotted this mom and baby. So, um, yeah. It's going to be a long morning. Okay, got one mom and baby. Had to get the net out, fencing out, to circle her. And we'll probably, depending on who that other mom is, have to do the same thing. But this is a first time mom who... Really has no clue. Yeah, has no clue and apparently didn't get a bag until like last week, so. Well, and now that we're turning other sheep in here. That's true. It can't look at bags anymore because. Correct, because everybody has a bag of some sort or another. I guess we need to start looking at tags. Okay. I know I saw that mom in here, but she could be way in the trees now. You got a little baby. Yeah. And. Now to get to her through the trees without her running terribly far. She's a good mom, but she is definitely a runner. <coughs> Baby's not happy, but we got him caught. <coughs> now we just got to get him to the pickup. Second one down. It's blustery out here. It is ugly out here. I am so cold. But no more babies. However, these are the older of our ewes from last year. So we are probably going to have to run the flock and double check bags again. <laughs>
saw it on the lawn last night. So there's the eagle. And there's my sheep. Here we go. He's oh, over. he's heading toward my sheep. There's no lambs out here if he didn't stop. Well, that's what I was going to say. I uh, sort of thought that... Seriously, Mama? It snowed, and it rained, and it blew, and it's cold. It would have been the perfect opportunity. Oh, still waiting. So got two bonus babies yesterday and she actually had twins but one was stillborn and then she just had the one single and these are both 2021 ewes I do not normally breed my yearlings um, until they're actually a year old so like my 2021s I don't breed them when they're eight nine ten months old I wait till they're actually a year or more it's a personal preference I've had some you know like these guys that take no problems um, and and have great lambs and I've had them where we lose the babies we lose the moms the moms just have no instinct whatsoever on how to be a mom so I prefer them to be a little more mature before I breed for the first time um, again, personal preference. There's no right or wrong wrong way to do it. Uh, it's just how we have started doing things in the last probably five years. And then our, our, we find that our the lambs just seem to do better on those first time moms when the moms are a little bit older. Fed the lambs their grain and the moms think they need it so next year this fence is going to be the tall fence that they can't get in here at all be about six weeks old so we should be hopefully getting some eggs soon 